Station at? Any station is not? Alpha 08, radio check over. Any station is not? Alpha 08, radio check over. Any station is not, any station is not, Alpha 08, radio check over. Bro. I'm not sure where we're going. It's like five different places we're going. Either Syria, Kuwait, Jordan, uh, Iraq, or UAE. And you'll be training with other people, you think, or you'll be actually? No, I think we'll be by yourself. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone mentioned that you decided to stick around a little bit longer just to go on this deployment. Is that yeah, true? I got 17 years in today. Congratulations. And I re up for three more to do the deployment and get my 20 years. Wow. And get this done. Finally. Grand finale. Yes. <laughs> Different like tables, like a table one. You have like table, f it's a bunch of, we have like ASPT, we got to do a safety test. Uh, the whole crew's got to get certified to live fire. So if you get like a new guy in, if you get a new gunner in, you got to recertify. But if you get a new driver, you can keep this, the regular, as long as the, the chief and the gunner are certified together and you can live fire. How many? So there's eight, we have eight launchers. So there's eight drivers. You got eight chiefs and then eight uh, gunners. Oh, okay. And they, a lot of them can do So both. yeah, this, uh, well, the gun, they're either, usually the gunners are E5s and then the drivers are E4s. Mm -hmm. And I was just doing the different angles of where you guys shoot. Like when we live fire, we usually shoot it off the side. Those are guided missiles. And if you shoot it overseas, it's uh, ATAC and it shoots right over the cab. Our job overseas is the long fire. So nobody knows where we are. We shoot and we stole the, v the LM and leave and, and go to a different spot. So they don't know where it came from. And how much distance are you typically getting? Miles. Yeah, I started here, then when I went to we moved to Littleton, like right after the last deployment, so 2017, 16, around there, we got came to Littleton. Specialist Eric Hilliard. Um, I'm a 13 Mike uh, here in the New Hampshire Guard. I'm a High Mars Tech. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Great. Um, and if you can just tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing today and the training that you're... Uh, yeah, so we just came uh, down here from uh, Littleton. We're just going to be doing some tr training out in the field with HIMARS, um, things like uh, battle drills, basically, so anything we need to do so we can get our crew certified. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Can you talk to me a little bit about what HIMARS is? Yeah, so HIMARS is High, high Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems. Um, it's the vehicle's... You see over there, they're um, some of what I think to be the coolest weapon systems in the Army, mm -hmm. um, capable of firing 500 kilometers, uh, high range, or yeah, high range precision fires. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What is your job specifically? Yeah, so um, I'm a driver mm -hmm. of a HIMARS. Uh, it's kind of the entry level position once you get put in the launcher. Uh, I basically, I show up to the launcher before everybody else does, make sure it's all good to go so that by the time the gunner and the chief show up, everything's up and running, and we're ready to roll out mm -hmm. and conduct the day's tasks. So is this your first training with the HIMARS in this environment with your team? No, I've been doing this uh, with the unit for a little over two years. Yeah, um, it's it's been great. Um, it's a really good group of guys and girls to work with. And can you talk a little bit about the deployment that's coming up? Yeah, uh, so in 2023, I think it is. Yeah, because we're in 2022 now. In 2023, uh, we're going to be going over to the Middle East, just conducting more training like we are now, just uh, hopefully with some more real-world applications. You know, it's 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 kind of hard to do something stateside uh, as opposed to overseas. And can you talk a little bit about what your team would be doing in the field overseas? Right, so it's a lot of the, uh, the stuff we're going to be doing today, a lot of dry fires exercises. Um, basically, there's an entire s uh, list of steps that we're going to go through when we get ready to do a live fire. Um, and we have the launcher set up to kind of simulate the environment of a live fire. So we're going to be doing that today and this weekend. We're also going to be doing a lot of that overseas, just making sure that our crews of three men are, or women 
are all certified to, you know, just be able to run this over and over so it becomes basic, you mm -hmm. know. And what's your favorite part of the job? What excites you the most about getting to do this kind of stuff? Um, you know, it's a, like I said, it's probably one of the coolest weapon systems I've seen in the Army. Just being able to see a, a round go down range is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Henniker, New Hampshire. Okay. Yeah. Anything you want to add? Um, you know, I'm, I'm a college student. I go to UNH. Just being able to do this part-time while well, being able to go to school um, has been a great time. Uh, being a first responder for COVID was an awesome experience to just really be able to get in the community and work. Um, yeah, no complaints so far. Cool. And then your position within this yeah. training unit. Uh, Christian McDermott. I'm a first lieutenant. I'm the battery operations officer at Alpha Battery. Great. And can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing this weekend? What kind of training you're conducting? Yeah, so one of the big things that we're doing is we're doing tables two to five uh, to make sure that we're ready for the live fire this summer. Uh, so we need to get the crews certified on that. Another thing we're doing is we're doing uh, map safety and leader safety for the leadership. So like the platoon sergeants and then the FDC as well. Uh, to make sure that we're able to fire accurately and safely. And then one of the big reasons we came up here is Alpha Battery used to be up here. So a lot of the guys started in this unit, they started up here. So we wanted to kind of bring them back just for nostalgia before we get ready for deployment and all that stuff. That's great. Can you explain a little bit about what tables are? Yeah, so tables is a kind of a stepwise process of getting from um, the very basics of the launcher or any process up to qualification. So for us, it starts with turning on the launcher, turning on the panels, and then working its way up through a drive fire, which would be table five, which is what we're doing. Uh, and then building up to this summer, which would be the live fire. And how much of this do you think will be um, directly correlated to what you'd be doing overseas? Is it pretty accurate to what you guys will be doing during your deployment? It's essentially all we'd be doing overseas if we get the mission that we're, our unit is designed for. Uh, so we're designed for long range precision, precision fires and that's what we're kind of practicing doing. So convoys getting into position, setting everything up and then making sure that we can shoot accurately. Are you, oh, okay, good, go good. Are you FSO sir? No, I'm the uh, battery operations officer. So it's kind of like in the Canon world, it's kind of like the uh, the battery FDO, mm -hmm. uh, but it's that combined with the executive officer. So it's kind of a, a mix of both things. Uh, so I knew that I was coming to New Hampshire and um, it just seemed like one of the cooler things to do. And it definitely turned out to be that. So I have what, a great time. What's the part of this job that gets you excited? What's the, the best part of it? The live fires, definitely. <laughs> Shooting rockets is always fun to watch, but especially yeah. like playing a direct part in that. So it's a you, good time. You said coming to New Hampshire, where'd you come from? Uh, so I'm from New Hampshire, but I went to school in North Carolina. Uh, so when I did ROTC um, and decided I was gonna go National Guard, I decided I was gonna come back up here, so. And you live in New Hampshire now? Yep, Where yeah, I live in Lebanon, okay. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely biased because I've been here the entire time, but I like it. It's yeah. a great unit, so. Well, thank you. Yeah.